。新闻实时报为您播报。美国俄勒冈州反法西斯团体与右翼组织发生暴力冲突。美国天空新闻最近与参与波特兰小规模冲突活动的反法西斯团体人士进行了交谈。And、uh, by any means necessary. We need to cover our faces to protect our identity. From them. Yeah. And from the police too. From the police as well. Because, Because when any any time anything happens, it's always us who are blamed. They hate us. They hate they hate people who come out in the streets and sometimes. Uh, you know, oppose the fascists. Why? I don't know. Why? Maybe because they have more in common with these people than they have with us, and that's the brutal truth. I saw you guys. The reason they surrounded us is because they wanted to silence us. Remember that. So you think that they're oppressing your freedom of speech? Yes, they are. They got violent when we started saying that. Yeah, we support a wall because we don't want a bunch of illegals just roaming here. Yeah, I think they went after his shoes. Yeah. And yeah, they like. I mean, it's been lots of time digging through hours of live stream footage. I think they get much more scared when we know their names, when we know their addresses, where they work. That certainly makes them more afraid. And when we, you know, release someone's place of work, our hope is to get them fired. Any second that a Nazi is spending looking for work or looking for housing, if they've been evicted. It's time they're not spending organizing. No justice, no peace. No Nazis in our streets. No justice, no peace. No Nazis. 反法西斯组织是对左倾的激进组织的概括描述。他们的示威主要是为了抵制新纳粹和白人至上主义者。抗议者说：“人们注意到，自美国总统川普上台以来，白人至上主义仍然盛行。尽管警方做出最大的努力，极右群体的集会往往会陷入暴力冲突。去年八月十二日，在白人至上主义者举行的集会上，弗吉尼亚州夏洛茨维尔发生了一场暴力对抗。”美国总统川普将新纳粹分子和反仇恨集团的抗议者之间的暴力事件归结为双方都有责任。目前，反法西斯团体也正利用互联网和社交媒体来反对右派分子，希望他们会失业。以上是柳晨为您播报的新闻实时报，感谢收看。